Good morning everyone. We're going to get this week started here with a little trip to Dollar General. Need some toilet paper, some birthday cards. I was looking for a couple snacks for Peter. He has a little end of the week trip uh, planned and wanted to send some snacks along with him. But I always have to just kind of stop when I'm at Dollar General, look around. Just a little mini colander. Isn't that actually very cute? That could have a lot of uses. Hmm. You know, I've sometimes looked for these. I never knew they had them here. Did you guys know that Dollar General has a $1 aisle? I mean, legit $1? Um, which makes this even better than Dollar Tree? And let me show you, I'm getting this. Country Lemonade Soap. Look at that, isn't that adorable? Looks like a little mason jar. Super cute. They even have strawberry watermelon here too, but I didn't really want that one. High frequency hearing loss is on the rise and iClever is here with safe listening headphones to help you provide the best quality listening at decibel levels that won't hurt your children's ears iClever's sound refiner technology effectively limits sound to below 85 decibels and it also lowers the volume of high frequencies which cause the most hearing damage. By pressing a couple of buttons you have the ability to set the volume at 74 for added hearing protection. The headphones are lightweight, they're incredibly strong, making them resistant to rough drops and bends, which you know kids are bound to do with their headphones, with up to 60 hours of battery life. One charge is good for an entire road trip. The kids are very eager to use these with their playaways during tomorrow's big road trip. iClever headphones are both wired and wireless, and the thing that I love the most is that the instruction booklet actually has instructions that make sense. So if you're unfamiliar with pairing Bluetooth, it walks you right through it in a couple easy steps. Right now, iClever is offering some coupon deals on Amazon, so click the link in the description box to get the best kids' headphones we've ever owned and at a really, really great price. They're safe. Listening technology is very important to me because my kids spend a lot of time in headphones, whether it's listening to playaways or doing schoolwork, having it hooked up to the computer. Lots and lots of time with headphones, and uh, I just want to protect those little ears as best as I can. In the description box below, you'll find links to each of these pairs of headphones. If you are a teacher or you know a teacher, be sure to share this with them because iClever offers a safe listening program where they provide free headphones to schools. There is a link in the description box. You can apply to the program through that link. And thanks to iClever for sponsoring today's video. What? I said you have to smile for me. <laughs> All right, we're back picking up the tractor. It's all done. And it seems like he likes this place. He's already got some another piece of equipment scheduled to come in later this week. So now we're going to do the 13 miles an hour home. Air conditioning works. That's a good Ice thing. Ice cold. Yep. The lights don't want to work now, so I'll have to check the fuses. It's probably just a fuse. Oh my gosh. So always something. Always something. That's how it is. Worms. There were a bunch more, but yeah. I lift up the brick and there's like this worm and then there's Oh there's another there's good, big worm. Another good worm, huh? The worm right there. Yeah, you found some good spots. And then Oh look at there's, there's even one there and a little centipede. centipede. And then underneath there. Oh my. Look at look how big that one Yeah, look at them all. Dad, I found where to look for worms. Under this brick and under this wood. Look at them all. Wow, better grab yeah. them. And then look at the little centipedes. You see yeah. that one that's running? <laughs> Don't let that crawl up your leg. Well, it looks like we're gone for a while doing the tractor thing. And I come home and look what I find. Peter, he's been wanting to get these chickens outside for a long time. Oh yeah, they love it. Oh, they it is the worm I put in there. Of course. All right. Well, looks like it's the end. 
Yeah, you think it's going to be warm enough, huh? It's going to have to be. It's going to have to be. No more wood fires for us this year. Here she comes. I've been working with Maria on laundry. So, just kind of giving her the rundown, what things I like to hang and what things, like just how I like to sort and everything. So, all right, what we're gonna do is well, we you're gonna to dig out. Yep, we're gonna fold it. You're gonna dig the socks out and get them into a little Did you tote. Fold the other stuff? No, I haven't folded anything yet. Oh, where's the other stuff? What do you mean, what other stuff? This is oh, our this first is load. First, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, first yeah, load that we did. I thought we did two loads, but the other one was this. The other one's in the washing machine. We got to transfer it over. There but it go. just fits better. When I reorganize that drawer, it just fits better. Tonight we're going to be doing the kind of like the 4 H food stand ham sandwiches, but I'm going to be doing it with roast beef and sliced provolone. I have some buns here. I have another package of these. They got smushed by the, by the milk on the way home. <laughs> uh, they're still going to eat just fine, though. Um, I'm just trying to decide if I want to make both of them so we have plenty of leftovers for tomorrow lunch or if I just make one package. Unsure yet, but as it's coming together, I'll figure it out. Here are all of the ingredients, and the full recipe is in cookbook number one on page 31. Uh, this is butter, Worcestershire sauce, this is yellow mustard, even though the recipe calls for Dijon. I just don't have that right now. And then it also, the recipe also calls for dried minced onion, which you see right there, and then it, and then poppy seeds. But since, um, but sometimes, you know, too many poppy seeds can be too many if you don't like them getting stuck in your teeth. So what I have found is I just use some of this everything bagel seasoning. It's got the toasted. Uh, sesame seeds in it. It also has some poppy seeds, has a little salt, and it just adds good flavor. So that is an option too. I didn't really measure any of my ingredients because I've made this recipe so many times. I, I just don't need to measure anymore. Now, since I decided to make only uh, one, you know, a dozen of these, I used less ingredients. And that's kind of what I was saying is that since I've made these so many times, I kind of know how much I need if I'm going to make a whole recipe or just kind of just kind of adapt it to whatever our needs are for that night. I'm going to foil these, get these into the fridge, and they're just going to sit in the fridge for the next uh, hour and a half or so until it's time to get some supper going. I'm putting together a seven layer salad which may or may not be seven total layers. <laughs> I usually just make mine with a good bed of lettuce on the bottom and then whatever vegetables I have and I vary it depending on who all I'm feeding. We're just feeding five tonight so I didn't need a huge salad. <clears throat> and I do have some cucumbers here which normally cucumbers aren't the greatest for a seven layer salad if you think you're going to have a lot of leftovers um, because cucumbers tend to get watery. There is seven. Oh Peter just counted there's seven for me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but I just use whatever vegetables I have. So I have the cucumbers, green pepper, celery, sliced carrots. I put some onion in there and then I had some frozen peas and I just sprinkled on a few of those. We're going to get some mayo spread all over the top of that, sprinkle on some ranch, uh, like the ranch seasoning packet. And then I'm going to shred some of this medium cheddar. If you have sharp cheddar, which I do, but it's not open and the medium is, I'm just going to shred medium cheddar on here. I like sharp cheddar a lot, but I just don't want to have more open packages of cheese.
I just crisped up a few of these bacon bits and I'm just going to get these on top too. Let's get mm -hmm. all of them. We don't want any of it to be left behind. Left no bacon left behind. These are going to go in at 350 degrees for about 15-20 minutes. Here is how the little sliders turned out. So we just cut them like this. Just pull this like this and it makes a nice little sandwich. Look at that. It's going to be flavorful. Wait. I've always done this with ham and Swiss or ham and Colby Jack and somebody in the comments had mentioned that they did this for their husband with roast beef and provolone and that he really liked that and so I thought let's give that a try. We're having seven layer salad and then some cookies here. Well, good morning. We are going to be doing car schooling today. We have so many errands to run. Tomorrow we have a big overnight trip planned. Whoop, Joey, you lost your pencil. We have a big overnight trip planned and so we just need some stuff for that. We need to make sure the car is all gassed up before the morning because we're leaving at five tomorrow. We'll share more about that tomorrow but today like I said it's gonna be a big car schooling day we have library books to return just a ton of errands to run well first stop was the library you want to show us what you picked up Peter who, who would, would win, win? <laughs> you love those books don't you lobster crab who would win ultimate shark rumble Wolverine versus Tasmanian devil Polar bear versus grizzly bear. Mm -hmm. And then what about this one? How things work. Mm -hmm. Fishing with dad. Yeah. The snake river challenge. Mm -hmm. And trophy buck. All right. Well, looks like you got a lot of stuff to read. I'm stopping at the post office here and I'm going to run in a couple of shipments. One for Deirdre and one for Joanne. So. Those cookbooks are coming your way. We're at Aldi we'll now. Milk to the... I was not going to bring milk, no. Your We're milk. getting a few snacks and Today. things okay, for at the hotel. Pour. We have lemonade and fruit punch. Yep. Do you guys like iced yes. tea? Fruit they have iced punch. tea? Get it. Yeah. Flavoring? Yeah. All right, well, we are going to do an out of the cart grocery haul right here. So, first up, basketball, basketball. <laughs> oatmeal cream pies, Chips. cheese crackers, sweet and salty <laughs> granola bars, cuties, a big box of chips, granola bars, flavor watering one, and flavor cheers. watering two, and flavor watering, flavor watering, <laughs> water flavoring one, two, and three, and chocolate mini bears, Chips to leave home, mm -hmm. heavy cream yeah. for my coffee, gum for the car, gum for the car, some breakfast food for my grandkids, hamburger buns for tonight's hamburgers that we're gonna do on the Blackstone, pub mix because the kids wanted to have maybe a little snack, and some minis, what are these? Ice Ore cream, Oreo, ice cream Oreo minis or something for a snack, which they think that they're gonna be able to eat those up all right now. A few bowls in case we needed that, but also some graham crackers. All right, another stop here and it's Goodwill now. So just looking for some jeans. Sam needed some good work jeans. And I'm looking for some swim trunks for Peter. So I'm, I'm confident that we're gonna find something. I can see swim trunks right now. Well, the list is getting shorter. It's swimming goggles, chicken feed, Hey, Chick feed. What else? Chuffer. Gas. Chuffer. You're going to throw that in the garbage. What else did I say, guys? The playaways. Playaways. And um, bubbler. And bubbler. So our list is getting short. Chuffer. And it feels good because it's already well after 2 o'clock. We spent a lot of time in Goodwill. Yeah. All right, Joe, what'd you buy today? Goggles on. Goggles on. And Peter, he's a sucker for all kinds of things, isn't he? Yeah. 
I want it. I this guy, I'm he so says excited. these Feastables are better than Hershey's. Okay. So we're gonna test that. All right. Oh, I want to try it. Too. How is it, Peter? I try it too. Let's see. It's like oh, the yeah. same exact as Hershey's. Tastes just like Hershey's. Maybe a little bit creamier. Okay, it looks very creamy. It looks real light. Yeah. It's real light colored. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try a little, just one little square. Kind of cool design. Can you break off a little square? All right. It's good. Mm. It's creamy. Mm -hmm. Creamier. I guess. I would say it's creamier than Hershey. Mm -hmm. But I would say flavor, yeah, very same. similar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Mr. Feastables. Mr. Beast oh, Feastables. Yes. Oh. I can't even say it. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast Feastables. Bars. Bars. I'd say they're a winner. Pretty good. Uh, let's track your supplies turn. <laughs> right, Maria? <Maria? laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do they have, Peter? They have guineas. They have guineas today? Yes. What do they have? Guinea fowl. Oh. Oh, you're going to have to put that hat back, honey. We're not buying that. You don't have money for that today. I can't. I can't put it in the more. The guineas are the oh, light gray so striped ones. I mean, the light brown striped ones. Mm -hmm. Mom, oh, yeah. I'll give and then I'll have a box for it out on the heated floor in the schoolroom. Joseph, get up off the cart. I feel like I'm losing control here today. Look at these, Mom. They're giant noodles. I don't think that's a pool noodle. Yes, it is. Isn't it for a pet? Okay, Peter, put it down. <laughs> and let's get some chick feed, too. This is layer. Are they out of chick? Well, they have tiny stuff. Yeah, we don't want that. Scratch greens, cracked corn, whole corn. What about over here? We got layer crumbles. That's not what we want. Although the crumbles is 50 pounds, huh? All right, we're at our very last stop of the day and we are looking for playaways. If you're not familiar with Playaways, these are, they're like an audio book. Oh, there we go. But it comes, like the one, the whole story is on this little device here. You put a battery in it and then you hook up headphones to it and you play away. <laughs> And so, um, they come with batteries. So yes, we'll probably take some extra batteries tomorrow just so that we don't, they don't wear out because we don't know how long those have been in these, uh, you know, we don't know how long other people have used them, Maria. But anyway, so that's how playaways work. And we got plenty. <laughs> you got enough I think there? we need more. Pardon me? I think we need more. <laughs> Spot to Look watch at all for the fish. fish. Yeah, it's gonna get one. A bunch of them just got sucked through because they all splashed right in front of the. I think that bird that flew there. I don't think that was a kingfisher on that side. It kind of scooped those fish. I thought for sure we'd see the kingfisher grab one. Yeah, that bird is down on the. 